Sergeant Brendan O'Toole left the Marine Corps after completing four years of service, including a deployment to Afghanistan. Shortly after returning home, he created a unique organization called the Run for Veterans. Take a look. I went to a pretty ugly country. I was sitting there halfway through my deployment, trying to figure out what it is I'm going to do next. I was lucky to come back, and now I'm lucky to contribute in ways that other people aren't. Sergeant Brendan O'Toole contributed by hitting the streets. 12 months ago, he began running across the country, 21 states, 3,600 miles, one day at a time, all on a mission to raise awareness and money for his fellow vets. You run down a city and you get pretty exhausted, but you see the American flag, you see the red, the white, the blue in there, you see the stars, you see how it represents our country in so many different sections all across the country from rich neighborhoods to farmhouses to back alleys. I mean, it's everywhere. There's no option for failure. So the only thing to do is to move forward, figure out what it is and make it happen. From California to Maine, Brendan has been joined by supporters who cheered him on and contributed to his cause. What drives me is the chase, the chase for freedom, the chase for adventure, being caught by failure. All that continues to push us, push me every single day. This trip has really taught me that you go once in a lifetime shot at anything. Please welcome Sergeant Brendan O'Toole to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And happy Veterans Day. Thank you, I appreciate it. This is good. It's the Queen Latifah show. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Love it. Love it. Oh, boy. That's awesome. So, Sarge. How many miles left? How many miles you got to go? 15 miles more to go. I've been 15 running miles. 15 miles out of the uh, 3,590 oh. miles that I've run. Uh, Tell the truth. Did you think it is because you saw Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump is one of my favorite movies. You're absolutely <laughs> I didn't right. Run too. <laughs> and then you started running. Well, it's a funny story. I was actually watching Forrest Gump in Afghanistan. It's a favorite movie of mine. My friends that got involved in this project mm -hmm. in the military. And when I was in the mountains of Afghanistan, it kind of clicked to me that, hey, let's turn this into reality and let's raise some money for veterans that need help, their families and the community. And one yeah. thing led to another, and here we are. How much money have you raised so far? Um, to date, we've raised well over $300,000. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, but we get great opportunities to talk to the communities, right. uh, local media, and then you catch a break and you jump on the Queen Latifah show. And, of course. And you know, here we are. So, of course. You know, we like that. So That's how we right. do it. That's right. You know, <laughs> my, my daddy wouldn't have it any other way, and he is a vet. Um, so what kind of people have you met along the way with this, uh, this run? Well, I've had veterans from an 80-year-old uh, two-star admiral run with me, a guy from Afghanistan who's been blown up six times. Um, wow. You know, we got homeless veterans that see us come down the streets holding the American flag. We got a big camouflage tundra behind us, playing Bruce Springsteen, making a whole lot of noise. And people just jump in and have fun with us, and that's what we do. That's got to be a great experience. It must feel really good, you the, know, to know that people actually care. And you kind of get to touch the people, <laughs> you know, people that you're fighting for. The best part about it is, you know, I served my country for four years as well as millions of veterans. But to be able to see the country that I, I volunteered for four years one step at a time has been amazing. It just reiterates how beautiful this country is, how amaz amazing the people are that make this country up, and the support that's out there for our veterans. And so it's been a great story, and we just had tons of fun with it. I think that's absolutely awesome. And um, I, I wish you luck on the last 15. And this is a great, a great country, but I think you might need to see another country <laughs> right about now. I think you need a little R&R. &R. <laughs> so our friends at TravelWizard.com, a luxury travel provider, are sending you on an all-inclusive Caribbean vacation <laughs> for two. <laughs> I'm a little tired, so I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. Well, you can go relax in the Caribbean and then come on back to us because we love you. We want you, we want you back home. So thank you so much, TravelWizard.com. Thank you, Sarge. Thank you. I appreciate Welcome it. Back.